Well, an accident at a Bali beach bar left a little girl with a fractured skull and a family fighting for help. Seven-year-old Aaliyah survived an horrific fall at the popular venue. Calls for compensation went nowhere until we tracked down the Aussie co-owner. Aaliyah. Aaliyah. Look at me. Seven-year-old Aaliyah boarded a flight from Sydney for Bali last year with her sister and dad. But she flew home in a coma on an emergency medivac flight. When I had my accident and everyone was like saying, stay down, don't go to sleep. Aaliyah fell six metres from this diving platform onto a concrete ledge at the famed Bali Watering Hole, Mississippi. This is Aaliyah and her dad jumping earlier in the day. Aaliyah then summoned up the courage to jump by herself under the watch of a Mississippi pool attendant. They said go, but and I was about to jump. Then they said, actually, don't go. So I hang onto the railing and I swung onto the edge and I forward. Aaliyah crashed onto this concrete ledge below. Sister Hazel saw it happen. She hit the ground, didn't move. I just remember I just couldn't get out of the water quick enough. Like it was, it physically felt like the water was pushing against me when I was trying to get out. Aaliyah was rushed to hospital. And then the ambulance came. And wow. I don't remember anything else except being in the hospital. You have a remarkable little girl there. Yeah, she's a little survivor. Mum Virgil wasn't in Bali. The accident happened on her ex-husband's watch. I just remember getting the phone call from um, Ali's father and he was just crying hysterically and he couldn't get the words out of his mouth. And then I just remember um, just not knowing what to do. I felt like my body gave way. Um, Virgil immediately boarded a plane. Yeah, I just, for a moment, I don't know, moment froze in time. Just a horrific scene. No one should see their child like that. While she was in the air, her little girl required two emergency surgeries to relieve swelling to her brain. It was like a boiled egg and the um, shell had just cracked into fragments. Aaliyah was medevac to Perth Children's Hospital. Uh, I think there's about 16 titanium plates holding her skull together. What? Who got you this? Auntie. What do you reckon? Auntie Brookie. Thank you, Auntie Brookie. And you get a big teddy. Thank you. Oh. Aaliyah turned eight a few months ago. Her recovery's been slow, but at least now she's back at school. Pretty hard, because I couldn't focus properly, because I, I couldn't think properly, because all what's happened. Do you, can you remember things? Yeah, but like sometimes I say something, but straight away after saying that, I forget. The memory um, loss is the biggest part, the biggest component um, to help her learn, you know, the bringing up that um, the information. So we just don't know what the future looks like. Um, yeah, it's going to be a long, long road ahead. The family approached a Bali-based lawyer to investigate compensation from Mississippi. Her grandfather's made trips to Bali um, to communicate. There's no correspondence, there's no um, progress. It's all come to a standstill. Virgil wasn't aware the director of Mississippi, Ben May, also lives in Sydney. I wonder how he would respond if this happened to one of his kids. Have you seen this uh, little girl? Her name's Aaliyah. She had an accident on the diving platform at Mississippi. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> May doesn't appear to be short of a dollar. He recently sold his Manly Wharf pub business for more than $20 million. Clearly he's doing well in life, but what happens to my daughter in the future if she can't get the education she needs and get a job and needs ongoing surgery, which we're told is more than likely going to happen? Yeah, I did what we could. Yeah, you've done what you can? Oh, my, uh, my, my understanding is yes. Aaliyah's accident happened one year ago this month. There's a reason why you pay for, um, you know, indemnity and public liability insurances to safeguard you from accidents and for them to be unresponsive after we nearly lost our daughter. I don't think it's uh, in my uh, nature or my belief system to leave someone feeling aggrieved about clearly an accident that happened on our watch. Yes, and there's, yes, there's personal responsibilities and what have you. May's but alluding to the fact like 
why a dad took a seven-year-old into a drinking venue and allowed her to jump off this platform. It's not something I would have done. You know, um, that's something that I know that way is heavy on him. But there were plenty of families doing the same thing that day. There were a few kids jumping off the big diving board. And the bottom one I landed on where the concrete was, there was something who catched my fall, it was like a rope. So if I didn't, if that didn't catch my fall, I could actually die. A recent Mississippi social media post promoting daring jumps from the diving platform angered Virgil. And I just blew up. I just thought, how are you advocating for this behaviour when I nearly lost my child? Mate, I'm more interested in the little girl who needs help more moving forward. You know, Absolutely. Can, I think that's completely the point. Do you think, instead of doing it this way, do you think we could get you guys together? I think that's probably a much smarter idea and a better way to do things. I'm yeah, overseas on Sunday. How do you okay. want to deal with it? Well, I mean, I've got, a, I've got the mum's number. Can you put a call into her? Yeah. yeah. I'm happy to... And that's exactly what Ben May did. He immediately she called she Leah's mum, Virgil. I'm not a cut-and-run kind of person. I've got several businesses here in Australia, of, of which our, um, yeah. our, I guess the people perceive us is pretty important or how people perceive us yeah. is pretty important. So, you know, and our history shows that we're pretty good, um, we're pretty good operators and we, we generally take a duty of care around our customers, so. We're not gonna be going there again. After many yeah, more are. calls, no, May blames the family's Bali lawyer for not responding to requests for documents from Mississippi. I guess what's happened and what might be difficult is another country being involved, lawyers from overseas being involved, different liabilities being considered. Mississippi has a multi-million dollar insurance cover. May says he's committed to helping Aaliyah. Consider, or I do consider myself a pretty good corporate citizen, so this is slightly horrific for me. Yeah. And I'm yeah. not doubting it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's even more horrific for, for the family involved. Sure. So don't get me wrong, but we're not cowboys. What do you want to do when you grow up? What do you want to do? Uh, I wanted to be a singer an artist and a dancer. We just don't know what the future looks like. Um, yeah, it's going to be a long, long road ahead. Oh, at least she's here to take that journey. Yeah, absolutely. That's mm. the important part. I love the way she was. She's seeing if you're OK. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because I saw, like, some water in your eyes and I was scared you're going to cry. I'm sorry, baby. And I don't want to cry. It's OK. Water in her eyes, a gorgeous little girl, and we wish Aaliyah all the best with her recovery. And well done, Ben. We look forward to seeing how you can help.